uh, their starters. They're still trying to find their groove, Yanni. I mean, prior to the start of PBL and CAA. So they know what it's like to play against good teams like this. It's just a matter of chemistry that's needed. Exactly. Sing there with the coverage or in the in will try with that attack. That's Carlos cross court. Rivera will set. Australia blocked by a green line. In the front row, let's take a look at that replay. Perfect blocking formation, unison in that blocking. To all here, Omandal will continue to serve. And Spanaga. And that's good for the Cool Smashers. Three serving two. And up here to Patty. Oh, but Todd Scarlett though takes advantage of that one and will use this opportunity to go ahead to Kyla Kingsu. Yep. Under their belt. We're excited to see as well if we'll see the cream line that we know today. Yes, the usual. <laughs> exactly. I mean, when they were up against the Cherry Tigo cro crossovers, they were definitely challenged. I mean, they broke their 19-game winning streak. And I did mention safety anymore here in the PBL. It's almost like no team can blink because you never know what can unfold. They go to Jarell Singh. Down the line attack. Same place for Jarell Singh. Attack. Take a look at that pivot on her body, her swing. Uh, learnings will be coming into play, but you see it's very neck and neck, Yanni. Exactly. To 11. Orenda in. Unable to go through that block. The court as we check it out once again. You see that replay. Panaga blocking, but Jarell Singh not ready for that coverage. Creamline with this two-point lead. Singh with the first ball. Ball is still alive. Alisa Valdez chased that one. They go to the pin, cross court. Orenda in will set. Singh, a chance ball to Creamline. That's Carlos from the pipe. Check it out. Beautiful formation by Tots Carlos. Solar Spikers, Coach Roger with that uh, specific advice for the team. That's right, he's talking about the coverage for his squad. Technical timeout here, but Capital One and not making it easy for the Cool Smashers. That's right, you see they're still fighting it out. The score is only four points off. Mm -hmm. Valdez though with an off-speed. Remember hit. watching the Cherry game, this worked with Valdez with her drop ball in that door. Makatuno goes to Singh. Effective Jarell Singh, especially in this side of the court. That's right. It's a four-point lead that's Clemente to serve. Eliza Valdez with that first ball over. Steve Jarell Singh saw that coming. Dreamline with a six-point lead. Rivera will set this time to Patty. Matthew will chase that one and an off-speed hit from Risa Sato. A quick attack, beautiful dig also by Atienza. But Risa Sato just swiping it in. So important that there's coverage on the side of Capital One. Niegos blocked again. Capital One will try this time with Jarrell. And that is good for the girls in blue. Capital One will save another set point. Oh, but unfortunately for them, that sails outside and will give Creamline the first set of this match. Here in the second set, Lori Bernardo here on deck for Creamline. Gumaba will get the first point for the Cool Smashers. They paved the way back to their winning ways, and we're seeing just more and more progress of just that from Captain Jarell Singh, who started off very strong, leading her ladies in set number one. Now, she told me that moving on from that grueling five-set loss, they put their best foot forward this past week because, in her words, sobrang taas ng tingin namin sa cream line, and all we want today is to give them a good and memorable game. And what a good and exciting matchup this is turning out to be as both teams give all they've got. You can watch the exciting action anytime and anywhere in the world. And download and subscribe now. now back to I think this is what's fooling the blocking of the Cream Line Cool Smashers because it's very deceiving her approach, whether it's cross court, down the line.
We have weight. Uh, we have I mean, this is where the chemistry really comes into play. Exactly. Nice set. Reverse set. Sing. Varies it up this time, going for an off-speed hit. Of the se sequence, keys on being that uh, smart setter in going through that. Nice serve. Negrito. The pawns. About power, Yanni, but I mean, it's all about placement. She knew that there was a hole in that defense of Capital One. She's very efficient when it comes to blocking. You have to find some way to avoid her hands or maybe go for a drop ball. He's on. Zendaya goes this time, activating different members. Nine to 12. Oh, that one caught the line. You can see the, you can hear rather the impact of Rose Vargas. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan, but Salubong ng Bayan. Targeting zone five, that corner. Cool Smashers with his five point lead. They activate Layug. Negrito. Musa Vargas. She'll try again. Singh was there to cover. Capital One pushes it. Pons was there as MG does a cross court attack. That first action. And we just uh, went to our second te technical timeout. Bernardo with that service. A while ago, they activate Layug with a cross court attack. <laughs> Layok being that magic boon out here. Negos with the service. When uh, that's Risa Sato getting another point on the board. Uh, uh, players coming off the bench, usually for the Cream Line Cool Smashers, but just goes to show that the bench is very deep right. for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. He's on, sends it over. Cream line here. They go to Vargas. Clemente. Bonds with a soft touch. Rivera. La Yug, cross court. Vargas again. La Yug. Cool Smashers has a chance here. Good coverage. Clemente will send a cream line a chance ball. Pong soft touch inside the donut hole. Milka Romero, the team owner of Capital One, enjoying the volleyball action here. But La Yoga gets a page off of Cream Line. La Yoga with the first ball, Rivera will set up Sing. Cross court. Des Clemente. Des Clemente has the height. As Cream Line, they are filled with strong attacking, whether it's the left pin or even the right pin. Clemente will set up Singh. Cross court again. Mafe goes to Tots. Powerful hit of Tots. Carlos just utilizing the hands of Capital One. Kizon chooses Singh. Underhand set to sing again, and the, the volleyball IQ. Yes, Jarell sing. IQ comes into play, Annie. Mm -hmm. He's on here with three excellent sets. Coverage. They go to Tots. Cross court. Catches the line. Sets for Cal Negrito. Yeah, goes with that first ball. Reverse set to sing. Dreamline, able to read that like a book. Jarell Singh looking a little bit frustrated. I mean, she's one of the vet spikers here. She knows what to do. Rivera will set the Niegos. Umaba was there. It's too tight. Yeah. Ooh. The second ball coming from Rika Rivera, committed by Capital One. Nice Dreamline serve. here. We'll get a service ace and we'll close out this. Negrito with his service to start us off. A chase by Umandal. Bingo will send it to the other side. Combination attack. Todd Scarlett took advantage of that one. 
This is where the lack of communication is seen on the side of Capital One, your opponent to make errors. Chase here by Bingo. Layog will give a chance ball to the Cool Smashers. One-handed set wow. to Tots Carlos. Wow. <laughs> nice serve. May goes to Layug, blocked. Niegos will set up Layug again. Elevate your place to combination plays. Nice serve. A block point here for Gemma Galanza. Cool Smashers will continue with their run. 7-0 to zero. to Jarrell Singh. Coverage by Atienza. Tots Carlos down the line attack. Cal Negrito with the service. 8 to 0. Nice serve. Diego to Niegos. Negrito chases that one. And the Capital One will stop the bleeding. That's a little help uh, from the net. Ooh, powers through that double block of Ati Orendain. First ball by Rovi. They go to Patti Orenda in. And they need more production from different sides of the court. Jurel Singh. And that's something Coach Roger emphasized in the timeout as well. 14 to 13. It's you Singh down the line. Now Jurel Singh is in the front row. Nice serve. Jurel Singh sets up Orenda in. Lori Bernardo in the middle, and that point will go to cream line. You know that it's good that Coach Sherwin is fielding in everyone. Combination play. Mafe goes to reverse set from Mafe Galanza. A miscommunication there on the side of cream line. I mean, his team is. Right? Not even the double in the double digits in right. the third set. But that one catches the line. 7 to 22. Pons with the first ball. Mafe with Supao Soriano. Coverage by Capital One. Mafe to Eliza Valdez. Checks. Nice serve. Eliza tried. With that, the set, but that one touched the antenna. You still want to minimize the unforced errors. Right, and they're a few points away um, to getting this set. Capital One wants to lower the lead. Rise above with what's happening in this third set. Attack from the back, over Doug. Galanza, dump. Makatuno with a chance ball to cream line. Mafe chooses Pau Soriano again, and Pau Soriano will get another point. Rovi in Australia with this service. Pau Soriano will set the points. Capital One has this opportunity. And they take it. 12 to 24. Mafe here at the points. Blocked. Mafe goes to Gumabo this time. Combination attack. And the touch is called by the linesman. But our first referee. Okay, so he'll own up to that and we'll give the point to Capital One. Nice serve. Underhand set to Pons. <laughs> and Catherine, these are... We cannot neglect the talent and effort coming from Capital One. Especially that they're a mix of veterans. At the end of it, that first ball. Miscommunication here. A dump there by May. De Jesus will set the pawns. And Bernadette pawns.
will get Creamline.